Cancer. Of all diseases, cancer is one of the scariest and most expensive to treat. In 2007, 1,359,000 new cancer cases were diagnosed in the United States, and 550,000 people died that year. This equates to one person dying from cancer every minute. In the West, cancer is the second leading cause of death from all diseases, while in China and Taiwan it is the leading killer. After cancer cells are truly formed, they multiply and divide rapidly like a runaway wild horse. Their replication is completely out of control. Their reproduction and division rate even exceeds that of the embryonic stage. They quickly form tumors and rapidly increase in size, occupying the organs and tissues. Where they are located, consuming nutrients, and damaging them, its function, and cancer cells will migrate to various parts of the body with the blood and lymph fluid to settle, I, e. cancer metastasis. Cancer cells also release many hydrolytic enzymes to dissolve surrounding cells and use their corpses as nutrients for their own reproduction. The rapid loss of nutrients makes all middle and late stage cancer patients appear very thin. The spread of tumors causes the human body to lose its normal functions and eventually leads to death. Bishop and Varmus, the 1989 Nobel laureates in medicine, discovered that everyone's normal cell DNA contains oncogenes, which are the internal causes of cancer. Everyone has cancer-causing genes in their body, and babies are no exception. When these genes are stimulated by carcinogens external factors, inside and outside the body for a long time, these genes may be stimulated to cause cell mutations. Free radicals launch an average of at least 7,300 attacks on human cells every day. So each person has the possibility of developing cancer five to seven times in his or her lifetime. However, when the human body is in a healthy state, the original cancer cells can be eaten up and eliminated by our body's immune system. At the same time, people can synthesize many antioxidants by themselves during menstruation, such as superoxide dismutase SOG, glutathione peroxidase GPX, coenzyme Q10, etc. These antioxidants can not only block the rampant attack of free radicals, but also repair damaged cells. However, if the nutrition is imbalanced, the cells are unhealthy, the immunity is low, or the body is old and frail, the body cannot synthesize these anti-cancer warriors or the amount of synthesis is not enough, and the cells damaged by free radicals cannot be protected and repaired in time, thus causing the entire replication model is completely disordered. When the number of cancerous cells reaches a certain level, the occurrence of cancer is inevitable. For a long time, doctors have usually only been able to diagnose late-stage cancer. At this time, the obvious symptoms shown by cancer patients are the result of 10 to 20 years of development. Before that, we have seen the long period the from damage to cell DNA to actual cancer and enhance one's own immunity thereby repairing 